Welcome everybody. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to apply to Imperial Valley College. First, you're going to click on your internet browser. On the URL, you're going to type imperial.edu. It's going to take us to our main page. On the right top corner, you're going to click apply now. And then you're going to click on go to the OpenCCC online application which is going to take you to the OpenCCC account. Here we have two options. You can create an account or you can sign in. You only sign in if you have previously attended Imperial Valley College or if you have previously created an OpenCC account. When you click sign in, you're going to um, enter your information. If you forgot, you can click I forgot my username and or you can click I forgot my password. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to create an account. In order to create an OpenCC account, you must have a reliable um, email address because you are going to be sent important information. So let's begin. We're going to click on begin creating my account and we have three pages to fill. First, we're going to type our first name. If you don't have a middle name, you're going to click um, this box. If you do, then type it. If you have a suffix, you're going to select it. If you have a previous name, you're going to click yes and fill this information. If you don't, click no. If you have a preferred name that is different than your legal name, you're going to click yes and fill this information as well, or you're going to click no. Now we're going to um, select our date of birth. And you're going to repeat it. This information is very important to fill out. If you have a social security number, you're going to click social security number and you're going to um, type it twice. If you have a taxpayer's ID number, the same thing, you're going to type it twice. If you don't have a social security number or a taxpayer's ID number, you're going to check this box. If you're an international student, non-resident alien, or other exceptions, and you do not have a social security number or taxpayer's ID number, you're also going to check this box. Only if you were not given a social security number by the United States government. Most of us should be able to type it out. After we click continue, we're going to um, go to the second page. We're going to type our email address, and we're going to repeat it. Then we're going to type our main telephone number. Most of us don't have an extension. Um, this is mostly for those who work in an office. And you're going to um, leave this selected if you authorize for IBC and OpenCCC to text you. If you have a permanent address outside of the US, you're going to select um, click here. If you do not have a permanent address because you're currently homeless, you're going to click here. Um, this is a message. If you're under the care and control of your parent or guardian, enter your parent's address or guardian's address, um, even if you're not residing at that address. It's very important. We're going to type our street address, our city and state, and zip code. And then you're going to click continue. Now it's going to take us to the third page of creating the account. We're going to create a username. If it's available, it's going to tell us that it's available. If it's not available, a message like this will show that somebody is already using it. So you don't want that one. You want it to be great. Then you're going to create a password and you're going to repeat it at least one letter and one number. You're going to create a four digit pin. Um, just four numbers and you're going to repeat it again. And then in here, you're going to select three security questions. So you're going to select one, for example, where did your parents meet? And then you can type where, wherever they met. Um, the same thing, you know, what was the name of your first boss? And you're going to type it or select another question and you're going to type it. After you complete all those three things, you're going to click on I'm not a robot. And it's going to tell you either crosswalks, um, cars, mountains, etc. 
For me, it says crosswalks to verify uh, um, and select all the crosswalks. So that's what I'm going to do. And once that's complete, I'm going to verify and it should give me a check. And then now I'm going to click create my account. You have now created your OpenCCC account. Please take a moment to ensure that you remember your username and password, write it down because if you attend another California community college, you are going to need this account to sign in. And if you don't attend IBC this semester and you decide in the future to attend, you're going to need your username and password again. Now let's press continue. We're going to select start new application. And we're going to start filling out the first section. We have to complete all these sections right here. It's very important that you select the correct term that you're applying for. Look at the dates to see if it's already passed or if it's upcoming. For the purposes of this video, we're going to select summer fall 2020. You're going to select your educational goal. If you want to obtain an associate degree and transfer to a foreign institution, you're going to select the first one. If not, then you have other selections as well. You can also select the intended major program of study of your choice. There's several choices. Don't worry if you are indecisive. You can always change it in the future. You can change it by talking to a counselor at IBC. Now you're going to press continue. Please make sure everything is correct. If you're under the age of 19, it's going to ask you to select one of the statements below. If you have been married or illegally emancipated, do not have a living parent or guardian, you were in a foster care at any time after your 13th birthday, um, are in active duty, or have been self-supporting for at least one year, you're going to select the first one. If none of the statements are above, you're going to select the second one. And you're going to type either your mom's, father's, or guardian's information. If your mailing address is the same as a permanent address above, you're going to select the first one. If your current mailing address is outside the United States, you're going to select the second one. And if it's different, then you're going to type it out. It's going to ask you to verify that the permission is correct, or if you need to edit it, you're going to click, I need to edit this address. Now we're going to fill out the education portion. It's very important that you select the correct enrollment status. If this is your first time in college after leaving high school, you're going to select the first one. This is for seniors graduating. Um, if this is the first time at the, this college but have attended another college, you're going to select the second one. If you're a returning student to this college after absent for a main turn, you're going to select the third one. And if you're enrolling in high school or lower grade and college at the same time, you're going to select the fourth one. This is for the concurring enrollment students, dual enrollment students um, attending IVC and high school at the same time. This will automatically populate this below. Most of you have attended high school, so you're going to click I attended high school. Um, leave this one the same, the country, the state, California, and you're going to type your school, your, your high school. For example, for Brawley High students, um, it's going to auto-populate some of the selections and you're going to be able to click Brawley High School. Um, the same thing for other schools. If you need to cha um, change it, you can select change. If you're attending Cali Patria, it's going to auto-populate and it's going to give you the selection of Cali Patria High School. For sophomores and juniors, when it's asking you, have you completed the 11th grade, you're going to select no. For seniors completing this application, you're going to select yes and complete the following questions. Now you're going to select your college education. Most of you will select no degree because you do not have an associate degree or you don't have a bachelor's degree or higher. If you attended another college before, you're going to select how many colleges you have attended and it's going to ask you to fill out information. 
If you have not attended any college, you're gonna select none and then press continue. Now we're gonna complete your citizenship status and your military status. If you're a US citizen, you're gonna select US citizen. If you have another type of residency, please click the appropriate one. It is gonna ask you for more information such as your number, issue date, and expiration date. For those who are US military or are dependent of a military member, you're gonna select um, which one is appropriate to you. And as well, it's gonna ask you for further information. Um, and if none apply to you, you're gonna select none apply to me and you're gonna press continue. The first question on the residency page is very important. If your parent or guardian has lived in California continuously since June 21, 2018, you're gonna select yes. If no, then you're gonna select no and answer further questions. Most of you should be able to select yes. The next question is about out-of-state activities. If your parent or guardian has engaged in the following activities since June 21, 2018, you're going to select which one. If not, you're going to leave it blank, not select any of them. Most of us will skip that question. If you, in the last 24 months, were determined to be homeless by any of the following, but your high school, emergency shelter, director of a runaway or homeless youth basic center, then you're going to select yes. If not, then no. If you were ever in foster care, you're going to either select yes or no. Then you're going to click continue. Now we're going to complete the needs and interests page. If you're comfortable reading and writing English, you're going to select yes. If you're interested in receiving information about money for college, select yes. If you're receiving TANF, CalWORK, Social Security, or general assistance, you're going to select yes or no. If you're interested in sports while attending college, um, you can select yes, you're interested, or no, you're not interested. Also as well, you have the ability to select and check from programs and services in which you're interested. And so for example, if you are interested in academic counseling, you're gonna select it. If you're interested in personal counseling, you can select that one as well. You can select as many as you would like. Then you're gonna press continue. Now we're gonna answer demographic information questions. You're gonna select your gender. Feel free to decline if you would like. And also answer questions regarding your parents or guardian's education level. Select the appropriate ones that applies to them. Now it's gonna ask you for your race and ethnicity. If you're Hispanic, you're gonna select yes. If not, select no. If you are, it's gonna ask you to specify which ancestry group and as well as if you have other indices or nationalities or ancestry groups, select the following, and it's gonna ask you to specify as well. And then you're gonna press continue. So we're almost done. Um, if you're a recipient of the Supplemental Security Income Program, you're gonna check here. If you're a recipient of CalWORK, SANF, AFDC, you're gonna select here. If you're a single parent, um, and are unmarried, illegally separated from a spouse, and are pregnant or have custody or joint custody of a minor child, you're gonna select here. If you're a displaced homework, homeworker, you're gonna select here. For most of the dual enrollment students, we're not gonna select any of those, and this automatically are answered for you. And now we're gonna fill out our emergency contact information. Once you complete your emergency contact information, you're gonna click continue. We're on the last page. Please make sure to review your application. Please make sure that you selected the correct term and that everything else is correct. Now you're gonna select that you give consent or you do not give consent to release information. And you're gonna read this very carefully and select these two boxes and submit your application. Once you click submit my application, it's gonna tell you that you have submitted your application and it's gonna automatically send you an email confirming that you did apply to Imperial Valley College. Congratulations, your application for admission has been submitted to Imperial Valley College. 
please be on the lookout for some emails. You're going to receive your G number, which is your ID number, and also we're going to give you an IBC email address. Take care.